This is Alan Weinkrantz. I'm here today with David Thorne, who is the Chief Broadband and Access Strategist for BT. We're here in Ipswich uh, in England. Good morning, and thank you for joining me. Sure. I work in the Technology Strategy Division of something called BT Innovate and Design. It was previously a sort of a group CTO function, but it's now been folded into another organisation, Innovate and Design. So my responsibility is to look at the technology aspects of the access network with particular regard to broadband, but not limited to broadband. But since BT is both a network and a service company, we take an end-to-end -end service view, and so the access very much extends into the home and encompasses home networking. Okay, so why G.HN? Well, again, one of the problems with the commercial success of power line systems has been there's just too many out of them. It's a very difficult problem in that it's very easy to sort of achieve a high headline rate. But what actually matters is for to a service provider, a telco, is actually the worst case performance, not the best case performance, because that's what we need to actually uh, base our, uh, our view of whether or not we can deliver video. So there's a number of, uh, uh, there's a number of uh, systems out there in the market and uh, the reason why that's a problem is, again, until we get conversions, until we get a sort of a, a world product, you really won't get the mass volumes which will actually provide sort of the, the price competition. Uh, but also, uh, there's, a, there's a subtle but very important further reason in that if there's certainty in the marketplace, ultimately we would expect manufacturers of certain types of equipment to actually embed this technology into their equipment, uh, for example, into set-top boxes or even TVs. Now that's a very good idea from the point of cost, power consumption, aesthetics, etc, etc. But vendors or manufacturers of those kinds of goods simply won't do that until there's a high degree of market certainty. And that market certainty doesn't currently exist. GRHN is not only about Powerline, but certainly BT's initial interest in it is in the Powerline aspects of this. So again, uh, it's exactly the right time for an organisation such as the Home Grid Forum to come along and basically accelerate this stuff getting to market because although you know BT very very strongly believes in standards and uh, you know single standards etc etc these things ultimately have to be commercially successful and affordable so again we need volume we need things to work so our role in Home Grid Forum is really to bring a service provider perspective to this whole business. I've already mentioned one aspect of this, but it does bear repeating. Uh, if you're trying to sell this kind of technology, then what people frequently do is they focus on the headline bit rates. So, you know, it's up to 200, 300, 400, etc., etc. That, frankly, is of little interest to a service provider like BT. What we want to do is to deliver video services reliably to as many of our customers as we can, and so we don't get support calls. Right, so where, what's the ideal end game from BT's point of view? Again, we're in the service delivery business and a network is a means to an end. So in the customer environment, we really want the customer to be able to buy devices. They actually have no knowledge or interest in home networks uh, in, in themselves. All they want is service delivery. So they simply buy the kit of parts that they need, they plug it in and it all works. No configuration. Now, they don't actually need to know about G.HN. Um, Actually, though, going forward, if you start to get an ecosystem of devices which are G.HN connected and they can buy these things in retail uh, outlets such as Dixons, etc., etc., they need to have confidence that they can go in and buy these devices and they actually won't interfere with existing systems or services, in particular you know, the, the BT Vision service. So, again, the end game is, to make, is primarily to make sure that BT can actually deliver its services cost effectively using this new technology, but also that there are retail ass, uh, outlets where people can buy uh, other variants of this technology for their own home networking purposes and the two can actually live in perfect harmony without the customer actually knowing that, or anything about it other than they buy the, actually the right variant of stuff. Again, no configuration. It's got to be very, very simple. If it's not simple, it won't work. So again, our long-term goal is that this is so simple and ubiquitous the customer has to know nothing and do nothing. Great. Well, thank you for your time today. And uh, this has been very insightful, especially seeing how uh, another service provider is approaching this. And I really appreciate your time today. You're very well.